Well, this is the, the downside from running a backhoe from 1980. All of the uh, hydraulic hoses on it are worn out uh, or needing to be replaced. Uh, I've gone through and replaced out quite a few of them, but uh, sometimes when you get a pesky stump like this that just won't come up out of the ground, um, the, the old hydraulic hoses just give. And that's what happened right here. Um, one of the uh, one of the four hoses that feeds up uh, through this system here. Um, well, it, it busted. So, and these, oh boy, yeah, these come all the way back into the manifold here, and uh, it gets me every time. Uh, I, I've been uh, I've been running this backhoe now for uh, f f four or five years since I rebuilt the motor. And it um, seems like about every other weekend, uh, it used to be worse, I would pop a hydraulic hose and uh, it would just be down for a couple days. But, luckily enough there's a uh, ABC Auto up the road here and they make hydraulic hoses on the weekends. Today's Sunday. Of course, going to be another 90 degree day, uh, middle of September, so we'll... Uh, get some tools and start taking the stuff apart all right gang so here we are um, looking down into the hydraulic hoses and as you can see there's four of them here that go up uh, to the to the various cylinders and uh, and down to the bucket there and one of these has broken right down here and uh, I've got the um, pressure released off of it first thing we want to do here um, to uh, to go about changing these out. I've got all these sprayed down um, with a penetrating oil like a PB blaster or croil. Next we're gonna take all of these um, brackets off that are holding those hoses tight. There's another one here. We'll, uh, we'll loosen that up and then these hoses come back into here into the uh, into the main manifold here. Let's see if I can zoom in yeah so the the main hydraulic manifold is in there somewhere and uh, all these hoses are connected to it so uh, we'll have to get in there and get the hoses off okay so we're gonna try to do a field repair on a popped hydraulic hose on the Ford 555 um, I found kind of the the wrenches that I'm gonna need here um, I didn't grab the exact size for each one because I didn't know their exact size, right? So I just grabbed a crescent wrench and some bigger wrenches. Uh, looks like it's a one inch and a one and a quarter inch that are the couplings there. But like I said, I need to remove these uh, keeper blocks on there, so we'll get started with that. And uh, what's nice about having your SAE and, uh, and metric tool sets Right, I can just grab one bag. It's got all of my SAE tools in it. I grabbed um, the 3 8 impact, and now I can just go in here and look for the correct uh, correct size impact. Also grabbed a wrench just in case. And I've got another tool set as well. Looks like we're about 11 sixteenths. Yeah, and we're... We're not always going to be able to use this tool, in this case it did work out. Like I said, this tool is a lifesaver. Look at there. two and I've got one more down inside of here this is a glorious tool Ah. 
just like that, 12 volt. Okay, so that was uh, that was the easy part. Now the hard part's getting these uh, hydraulic hoses broken off or broke loose, and then ultimately out of the uh, the manifold there. The manifold's the uh, the hardest part. Oh, where's your cheater pipe when you need it, idiot? All right, so one, one thing I forgot to mention here, you want to make sure there's no tension on any of this. See there? There was tension in that line. Yeah, I thought I had it out of there, but I guess not. There we go. A little more tension relieved. More tension relieved. More tension. And... That should probably do it. Sounds easy enough, right? But these things have been on here for so long, uh, this is not easy. Yeah, this is uh, this is the worst part about having an old backhoe or something with a bunch of hydraulic lines. Mostly just with a backhoe because it's got so many of them. Uh, for one cylinder, all the way down at the bucket there, you could have as many as uh, as you know four hydraulic lines, uh, maybe more. So. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Ideally, uh, like here, I've got this. Uh, I've got this wrench wedged up under here, so it's holding that hard line from twisting. And uh, there. Now I can just pop it off of there, and uh, should be able to get this the rest of the way out. There we go. One down, and uh, that's that's the one that popped. You can see right in there. Uh, that that's where it popped there. So now we'll trace it all the way back to the manifold and see if we can't get it off at the manifold. And like I said, while I'm in here, um, I may as well just go ahead and change the rest of them out. Uh, typically. Typically when one of these goes, they all go. So, or they're not far behind anyway. So rather than have another failure like this, uh, while I'm out in the field and have to walk back up to the house to get my tools and get a vehicle and go to the store to get another hydraulic line, I'm gonna see if I can get all those off of there. But the next step is the hardest, which is uh, getting it from the manifold. So, see if we can get that. Okay, so here's looking into the manifold. And the line that I've got to take off is the one center screen there, that one. And uh, doesn't look like there's going to be any easy way to get in there and get it off. But you can see there, for each cylinder, you're going to have one. Uh, one line is going to go to the top there, and then another line is going to go to the bottom. So try to get both of those out. And I may have to take these off. 
to get in there and get those and work my way left to right. What I've decided to do here is to uh, take this panel off in hopes that uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to uh, get down to that manifold and, uh, and take those off of there. So, get this taken apart. Okay, so here's looking down at the manifold from up in the cab. And what I've decided to do is just start over here on the, uh, the right hand side looking down at it like this and work my way over. So I've started on the top here, I've got that one loose, I've got that one broke loose um, by putting a wrench on it from the top side here inside the cab and uh, got it broke loose. So next is going to be uh, going out of the cab to get that one on the bottom and uh, same deal, just work, uh, work from right to left there. Yeah, let's get this one off of here. Alright, so I got one down. One down. Oh, that's uh, that's my busted hose. So, I can pull this out of here to have a look at it. All right. So that's uh, that's our busted hose right there, and you can see right there. Uh, from being pinched in this position for so long, it just gave way. So, uh, second from the top, uh, or second from the left on the top there, is going to be the um, far left on uh, on this uh, set of hard lines here. So, now I've got this, I can bring down to the store, and now the question really becomes. Uh, do you stop there at the one or do you keep going and get all four and as much of a pain as this is uh, my plan is to go ahead and get all four of them while I'm in here so we will uh, we'll continue on because uh, there yeah all four of these are about in the same condition and they're all gonna be pretty wore out and since I've got the outrigger lines off uh, these next three are gonna be right there so we'll uh, we'll try to get those off. And let's see, this is a inch inch and a quarter, I believe. Let's double check here. Yeah, Hose number two is loose. Hose number three, broken loose. part of the game here right okay uh, the the secret to getting these off of there is to put in the wrench on the hard line in a way that the the wrench is supported by something so when I got this on here um, I, I'm allowing it to then come up and run into the cylinder here and uh, don't know if I'm going to be able to do it on this one, but that's ideally the way you want to do it. You want to have the wrench on something hard, and then you can put all your weight on the other one. Well, a little too greasy to show you right now, but there's a crescent wrench here, and then a crescent wrench coming across this way, braced up against this cylinder. And then I was able to, uh... oh, there it goes, that one right there.
Yeah, once they break loose, they're pretty, uh, pretty manageable. I'm just gonna have to uh, remember what hose goes with what. Well, that's number two. We got one, two. Uh. All right, so we'll go across here and see where they go. All right, so second from the left here is gonna go to top third from the right. Um, third from the left here is gonna go third from the left bottom. And the first one here First one, uh, farthest right down here, is going to be second from the left bottom. <sighs> More often than not, this is uh, the case. Um, the uh, local auto parts store didn't have the fittings to make all the hoses, so now I'm down uh, for at least a couple days here until, uh, until I can stop by the hydraulic store and uh, and get the correct hydraulic hoses and fittings and get them all the same and they could have made me one and that could have got me going but uh i was just like now nah, i'll just wait till i can get all four um matched hoses um typically I'll, I'll run parker hoses um just what's available locally here so now it's uh it's putting baggies on all of the uh all of the ends of the fittings here and then um, packing it up for the day. So that's uh, going to do it for today on Man Time, guys. Um, I'll have the backhoe back up and running here in, uh, in no time, I'm sure. And, uh, and this is one of the problems you're going to run into if you, you know, get what you can afford, right? I, I, got, this, uh, I got this backhoe for 3500 bucks delivered. Um, engine uh, needed, a, it needed a new block, so I ordered a new short block. And, uh, of course, all the hoses on it were um, pretty worn out. Um, most of them stock from, you know, the 80s sometime. So I've been steadily replacing hoses, and this is the case more often than not when you're running old equipment like this. You, uh, you get what you can afford, and, uh, you know, you do the best you can with it, and that's kind of what I've been doing. So just a note to self there. Um, it, you know, it has its ups and its downs. I can, I can work at my own pace. I've got the equipment here. And, uh, and the backhoe is, uh, is a really good tool. It's, it's fuel efficient, um, and uh, it, it moves pretty quickly. The, the downside is, you know, it's, it's old and it's got all these hoses that are going to need repair. But it's got a new engine, it's got a new clutch, um, and I'm, I've taken it apart and I know um, all the different parts of it, pieces of it, and uh, I, I can service it. So, um, you know, there's ups and there's downs to that. All right, uh, got my baggies on the hard lines here so I don't get any rain uh, or dirt or debris coming into the hydraulic system here. I'm going to do the same on the manifold with all of the uh, nipples sticking out of there. Get some uh, plastic bags on there and some zip ties, and that should uh, tide me over until I can get some new hoses. But thanks for joining me today on Man Time, guys. Get out there, have you some man time, too.